Hi Capricorn, welcome to your week ahead Tarascope with me Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. Your key to the week this week is the world card, in this deck it's actually called the universe, beautiful card. So are you ready for the next level? Are you ready for that level up? Are you ready for that pay rise, that promotion, that next step in the game? I'm pretty sure you always are born ready, right? Now, the thing that I will say to you is the world card does connect you to the world. It does connect you to bigger communities and institutions in some way, shape or form. So I wouldn't be surprised if this week sees you literally connecting to other places in the world. It could just be for a lot of you though that on the ground level you are taking a step up or there is some kind of elevation that's taking place here for you. For others this could literally be a full circle moment. This could be a moment where you're seeing something and kind of saying wow you know what like I this is what I work towards. This is what I, I'm now seeing come to fruition let's say. If you are a continued subby, you know Ralphie loves you. If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, and if you should so choose, and this resonates, hit the subscribe button for your actions. Uh, before we start, as always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise. They help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. So your actions and options are the hanged man. All right, so it looks like some of you are taking a moment to reconsider this. So let's say it's a promotion. Maybe you like the money, but you don't like the responsibilities. Maybe it's not a step in the direction that you really feel uh, resonates with you. For some of you, it's like there's something being put on hold here, but it's you that's initiating that hold up. It's you that's kind of saying, okay, you know what? Yes, this is a great opportunity, but actually, you know what, I think I want to take something else. So one way that this could show up, let's say your boss or your employer comes to you and says, you know what, we want to give you more hours, we want to give you more money, we want to promote you, we want to give you a different title. And you're like, wow, you know, this sounds amazing. But then you realize my kids actually need me. So I'm going to have to find a job that either doesn't pay as well or offers different hours. There's something here where you are potentially giving up or sacrificing something that you have worked hard for or towards in order to fulfill a different purpose or a different function in your lifescape. Um, what I will say though is like whatever is being offered, whatever is, is potentially elevating for you, there is a sense that you're declining or refusing it and there's obviously a reason behind that. For your communications and conversations you've got the star card. The star card coupled with the world card literally represents uh, international flights. A lot of you this week could be hearing from somebody overseas, maybe as well for a select few of you. Maybe an opportunity arrives for you uh, that would take you out of the country for your work, that might see you connecting to a different place in the globe. This could also be you connecting to or flying to different places or distant places. For some of you, it's literally just making more travel plans for the future. Whatever is going on this week, you are setting something in motion for your future. And for a select few of you, this might be that you're putting those plans on hold. So it will be interesting to see in the comments who's doing what and how this um, shows up for you. For those of you that are studying or in some form of academia, the star card is beautiful, especially with the universe, uh, the, the world card, because this is you really building a solid community. I want you to, so if you're a student right now, if you're in university, etc., look around you because some of these people that you're connecting to or with at this moment in time are going to be in your life for a long time to come. All right, which is really nice. It's like you're building a friendship or a social circle that's going to be a part of your world for a long time to come. For those of you that are employed by somebody else, great opportunities being offered to you this week, potentially more money, potentially more reach as well. For some of you, this could link you further to or with international places, climates, uh, people in some regard. Um, but again, it's just really weird. It's like, if there are delays in this stuff this week, I really feel like it's you that's initiating that or saying, you know what, as much as I would love to do this, I can't because dot, dot, dot. There's someone or something else that needs me more. Um, it won't be the case for all of you. 
for those of you that are business owners, entrepreneurs, solopreneurs, people that work for themselves, this could be you connecting to or with the international world in some way. For all of you, websites, web domains, anything to do with technology, learning technology, especially if you're developing websites, having a website built, really looking into what the costs of starting a business are, etc. There's a lot of this going on. For some of you, this could also be a week where you're choosing to rebrand your business, um, which is really interesting because as we come into October, the next universal year's energies are gonna start to make themselves known. 2023 is a seven year. Stay tuned with everything that I'm bringing out in, in the next few weeks, etc. because you're gonna see, I'll be talking about this a lot. But as 2023 is a seven year, we're gonna start to see those energies, trends and themes that start to come in over the course of, uh, uh, yeah, over the course of October, November and December. And the reason I find this interesting is because the seven energy, one of its things, one of its key themes is rebranding or renaming things. So it looks like some of you are tapping into that really powerfully. For those of you that are retired and no longer working, this could be news from overseas that sees you having to either take a flight or move very quickly on something. For your love and relations, you have the eight of swords. Sticking in with it, Capricorns are always in it for the long haul. But that Eight of Swords with the Hanged Man, this might be a week where you have a really deep realisation about relationships, about love, about partnerships, and where they either hold you back or where you're holding to a specific relationship, person, experience that you've had is actually stopping you being able to live a better life. Um, it's going to be a really, I will say this will be a really big re revealing moment. For those of you that are single, again, this could really highlight to you where you're holding yourself back or where a previous partnership or relationship is actually just getting in the way of you having a new one. For those of you that are partnered, married or in long-term commitments, you could see where you're literally getting in the way of your own relationship. For your money and materials this week, you have the King of Swords. So an Aquarius person, an Aquarius male, me, could feature for you this week when it comes to your money, your resources, or your finances. Um, the reason I say that, King of Swords, air sign male, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, star card, Aquarius, Aquarius male. Um, so this could be somebody that either gives you a piece of knowledge or information that really helps you f like further your career or your finances. It does suggest a lot of you will be signing a contract of some sort this week. It's very possible. Um, with that world card as well, this could be you initiating something that takes you out of your comfort zone or further away from home. When it comes to your physical health and vitality, for me, the King of Swords, um, it's health and vitality aspect of this for me is always the mind you know like your mind is so powerful that when your mind is in anguish or turmoil you know you just feel it right or it's like you know when you're like when you've woken up wrong or you've had a bad day or you haven't slept or whatever when your mind is foggy or heavy or even just really really busy your body takes the brunt of that. You can feel it. It's like, you know, when you feel tired, you haven't maybe physically done a lot, but your mind has been so busy that you're just kind of like exhausted. This could be one of those weeks because you're obviously, there's a lot going on inside you this week, my dear Cappies. Um, so maybe find a way to talk, find a way or find someone that you can talk to. When it comes to your home and environment, the King of Swords, I think a lot of you this week will be getting really clear on whether you're staying in the home that you're in or whether you are moving on to greener or newer pastures. For a lot of you, this will be where you probably start initiating that. I would wait until the 2nd of October onwards because at that point, even in, even though it will still be in shadow, Mercury will actually be direct then, all right? So if you can hold off on contracts, signing any documents, etc., till like the 3rd of, of October, you're in a much better position. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.